Have you ever thought about what you'd get if you combined a shrimp and a praying mantis? You probably haven't, but Mother Nature already has. And the outcome is striking. Behold, an alien killing machine that can punch as fast as a 22 caliber bullet. The mantis shrimp. This fascinating creature's body look a lot like shrimp and its limbs and hunting skills resemble those of a praying mantis. But it's actually neither. It's a type of stomatopod that has existed on Earth for more than 400 million years. And that's a long time. To put it in perspective, dinosaurs appeared around 230 million years ago, which means mantis shrimp had already been cruising the oceans for over 150 million years before dinosaurs even showed up. Mantis shrimp primarily live in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Ocean, between Eastern Africa and Hawaii. But they can also be found in parts of the Atlantic. They mostly live in warm and shallow waters and are actually very territorial. Depending on their hunting style, they either dig sand burrows or occupy natural crevices, which they defend and customize for most of their lives. They use it to either ambush prey or a place to retreat to when threatened. I mentioned that their home base depends on what style they are. Well, there are two hunting styles of mantis shrimp. Spearers and smashers. This depends on what kind of limbs they have. Spearers have long sharp spear-like limbs and like to hide in the sand. They dig sand burrows and stay buried with only their eyes peeking out in search of prey. They wait for soft-bodied prey, such as fish or worms. As soon as they see one, they stab them with lightning speed. Smashers, on the other hand, have hammer-like claws that they use to attack hard-shelled prey, such as crabs, snails and clams. The way their hammer claw works is that it's fastened securely in place by a latch. As muscles contract slowly, the latch allows for energy to build up. Then there's also a saddle-shaped spring that allows for even more energy to be stored. In the end, when the latch is released, the spring propels the claw forward with a speed faster than the blink of an eye. The blow that is unleashed has a force thousands of times the shrimp's body weight and it's able to crush a crab's shell, a snail's armor, or even tempered aquarium glass. This mechanism is not based just on brute force, it is evolutionary engineering at its finest. What is even more fascinating is that the mantis shrimp doesn't get damaged from the force of the blow. On normal occasions, his claw should crack from the impact of such a blow. But our fellow alien soldier here has complex layers within its hammer-like claw that absorb the force of the blow, leaving the mantis shrimp unharmed while killing the other animal. Some scientists believe the intricate layered design of the claws can be used to build lighter and more effective armor for soldiers, stronger vehicles and even better helmets for athletes. Now, if that alien claw design wasn't enough, the mantis shrimp has even another trick up its sleeve. If it loses the claw, he simply grows another one. Now that's impressive. Now let's return to our discussion on territory. Smashers, as opposed to spearers, prefer to hide in rocky burrows, near coral reefs or rocky seabeds. Why are both styles so territorial? Well, their burrows are basically everything to them. It's a valuable real estate. It's their home and storage, first of all. Then it's also their hunting spot. A good hunting spot is actually hard to find, and when they do find it, they guard it fiercely. On top of this, their burrow is also their fortress. It's their place that keeps them safe from predators. So you might be wondering how large these animals are actually. Well, 
They can basically range from pinky size to forearm size. Most species range from 10 to 15 centimeters. The smallest ones, though, can go as low as 2 to 3 centimeters. But don't underestimate them for their size. They are just as aggressive and dangerous as the large ones. They are most often spearers and still pack the same mechanism for attack as the larger ones and one extra advantage that they have is that they are less visible to both predators and prey. These mini mantis shrimp are ambush predators. They dig burrows in mud or sand and hide with only their eyes peeking out. Then they wait for their prey and as soon as they see a small fish or worm, they attack the animal with lightning speed, stabbing them before they even have the time to escape. Some of these stealth hunters are so elusive that scientists have only captured a few specimens of them. The biggest ones on the other side go up to an incredible size of 46 centimeters. That's almost half the size of a domestic cat. These big boys are called the zebra mantis shrimp or strip mantis shrimp. Intuitively, you might think that they are smashers, but they're actually spearers. They hide in long deep burrows and are excellent ambush predators with an incredible reach and deadly accuracy. The runner-up in size is the peacock mantis shrimp who can grow up to 18 centimeters. This is the charismatic one. He is the most famous mantis shrimp known for his rainbow-colored armor whose colors look just like a peacock's feather. So we can think of this one as a combination of three creatures. He has the colors of the peacock, the weapons of the mantis, and the body of a shrimp. A holy trinity that ends up forming an alien ambush predator. This one is a smasher and he does pack a heavy punch. He's actually one of the strongest when it comes to raw striking power. Combine that power with a 2-3 millisecond strike and you basically get the Muhammad Ali of shrimp. If all these qualities weren't enough, our fellow alien predator has one more special ability that gives him an advantage over his prey. The mantis shrimp have among the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom. First of all, their eyes can move independently. This means that they can both scan the entire horizon and also focus in on a prey when the moment comes. Next, each eye has three separate focal points that allow them to perceive depth with each eye. Thirdly, their eyes have a staggering 12 photoreceptors, which means that their eyes can see 12 different wavelengths of light. And finally, on top of all this, they can see UV light and polarized light. Mantis shrimp don't just see the world, they decode it in ways that no other animal can do. Instead of just looking at the world around them, they are analyzing light in multiple hidden dimensions which we humans can't even perceive. 